in this uh, lecture so we are going to deal with the operation of this bipolar junction transistor in active mode operation so again i am telling for active mode emitter based junction should be forward bias collector based junction should be in reverse bias but how it will be active mode so we have to uh, answer that question so why it is called active mode only but before that we will see some uh, explanation about the whenever emitter based junction is forward bias so if it is a npn transistor so if you see this junction that is n p this is one diode so n should be connected to negative p should be connected to positive then only it will become a forward bias similarly collector based junction so collector is neg uh, n so n should be connected to positive p connector should be negative then only this junction will be in reverse bias now we will see what will happen now the moment when we give negative to the n it will repel the number of electrons which are coming here so it will push these electrons towards base now there are so many explanations in uh, various test books so from those are what my experience so i'm taking some random numbers suppose it is having some 100 electrons and 10 holes this is one example i'm taking but actually it is very number high in number 10 to the power 17 20 etc so it is having some 100 electrons because majority is electrons and minority are holes 10 now this majority carriers will move from n to p right now and these 10 holes will be in this only now similarly here the opposite will happen the majority carrier will be some maybe 20 30 because this is low, very low doping and some minority carriers that is electrons so whenever this is forward bias the electrons will move from emitter to base and holes will move from base to emitter now see whenever electrons are moving from n to p there is a movement of electrons so that's why the current will be in opposite direction that is due to the n type or due to number of electrons and holes are moving coming from the base to emitter and the current direction is same as the holes so it is i p e due to positive or p type semiconductor or holes so what is this i e is i e is due to electrons as well as holes now see the current conduction is due to the electrons as well as holes that's why it is called bipolar so the current conduction is done by two polarity that is electrons as well as holes now but generally what we conclude here is the number of electrons which are coming or diffusing from this to this our number is in high maybe 100 electrons are moving from here to here only maybe 10 holes will coming from here to here right now so the number of electrons moving very high compared to holes so it is can be approximately i and e this is for analysis purpose so if we don't assume this so the analysis will be very complicated so generally we will make some assumption that the total current is due to only the number of electrons but actually it is due to the both polarities now now 100 electrons are moved from em emitter to base suppose it is having some 10 holes in this p type this 100 electrons will recombine with this 10 the remaining 90 will reach the collector right so whenever the electrons are coming from here to here the current direction will be opposite that is due to this ic there is a opposite direction of i n c this is about the majority carriers right so 100 electrons are coming so 10 recombining the remaining 90 is collected this is one way of explanation similarly for minority carriers right so this is a whole majority carriers in this minor in this uh, p type base there is a electrons which are minority similarly here the p type or ho holes are minority carriers so whenever it is forward bias there is a 
मूवमेंट ऑफ दिस माइनॉरिटी कार विच आर वेरी लो सो आई ई इज ओनली ड्यू टू द माइना मेजारटी कैरियर्स बिकॉज द मेज माइनॉरिटी कैरियर्स विल बी वेरी स्मॉल इन दिमिटर एंड बेस नेक्स्ट बट इन दिस इज द रिवर्स बायस मोड सो वेन एवर दर इज द रिवर्स बायस एक्चुअली द डिप्लीशन रीजन विल बी वेरी हाई कंपेर्ड टू द प्रीवियस नॉर्मल अंडर नो अप्लाइड वोल्टेज ना वेन एवर दर इज ए रिवर्स बायस सो द डिफ्यूजन ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर आर वॉट एवर इट विल बी स्टॉप बट देर इज ए मूवमेंट ऑफ द माइनॉरिटी कैरियर्स विच आर द होल्स हियर विल मूव फ्रॉम कलेक्टर टू बेस सिमिलरली माइनॉरिटी कैरियर्स विच आर हियर इज विल मूव फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट इज द माइनॉरिटी कैरियर करंट आई सी वो राइट so which is very small so that will be see in the later so generally ic is equal to alpha times ie plus icvo that is total ice collector current so ie is alpha is very much less than 1 or it is approximately 1 so 90% of ie will come to the collector and this ic not is very small that is due to magnetic carriers right this is one way of explanation but actual scenario or if we go to practically what will happen is that is like this so there is a npn minus plus minus plus now <clears throat> so this is one way of explanation this is the other way of explanation any material or any semiconductor metal will always will, will be in stable mode that means it is having hung 100 electrons 10 holes means it should contain always why because with the moment the electrons are dissipating or etc or diffusing it will become unstable right so to make stable suppose what in previously we said 100 electrons are coming from this to here this source this vbe it will donate the whatever the holes or electrons moving from here to here it will donate those number of electrons or holes that will recombine again so it will become always stable so i am i'm taking again example so whenever it is suppose it is losing some 100 electrons so that 100 electrons is like a it will become the depletion region of some immobile ions so this source will donate those number of electrons to become again the num it will recombine then it will become stable right so that is actually it is happening so it is generating i mean it is diffusing then it is generate i mean it is giving so that is so it is making a stable of this material similarly in p type there is a recombination of this holes now whenever there is a recombine so the it is uh losing some holes so this base voltage will provide that holes again into the base so whenever there is a 100 electrons so 10 electrons will recombine with 10 holes so those 10 holes are disappearing again this voltage this base voltage will provide those number of holes into the base now similarly whenever there is a electrons coming into the collector right so it will disappear some number of holes right so so those number of holes are whatever this n type semiconductor so this is a positive voltage whenever there is a collection of the see positive will attract the electrons so suppose here 100 electrons are the attracted by this source so this 100 of electrons right will be donated by the base so that is which are coming from emitter to the collector so which are suppose we are reaching suppose taking the 90 electrons right so which are reaching from the emitter to base are 90 electrons so this will be recombined by this 90 electrons again so it will become stable only so this is the continuation process of the emitter to collector and so on always this np and n 
semiconductor p type p type semiconductor n type collector will always be in stable mode only only by this applying voltages it will donate this number of electrons into the emitter again same the number of electrons coming out of the emitter is some recombination will happen that will provide by this base voltage now whenever this source is attracting the number of electrons that will be donated by this base that is 90 electrons into the collector that is the process of to make stable this total the material or device so that is happening actually in the uh, when we go depth analysis or deeper analysis right now we will see the current uh, equations so this is emitter current which is equal to the collector current as well as base current so whenever it is donating holes it is generating some the ib right whenever it is receiving some electrons it will opposite of current is ic these two currents will be equal to the emitter current right so and this number of electrons which are coming from the emitter which is reaching so what is that current equation alpha times ie plus ico this is magnetic carrier currents this is alpha is dc current gain is equal to ic by ie alpha right this is in the common base configuration so these configurations we will see in the next lecture i hope you understood suppose if you are getting any doubt so you can post a comment right